Hello everyone, I'm Ariana from Where Black Sheep Meets, and today I have a great video for all you sewers out there, especially if you've come to my channel to learn or get help when you're trying to put together your sewing patterns. Because today I am showing you my sewing pattern collection. Now, I have a lot. <laughs> And by saying this, I need to put out a little disclaimer that all of these patterns I have bought on sale. I have not bought any of these at full retail price because some of them can go up to like 20 something dollars. And if you wait for the sales from Joann's or Hobby Lobby or, or even on the McCall's or Simplicity or anything websites and you sign up for the emails, they'll sometimes have sales on there as well. Uh, not as good as Joann's or Hobby Lobby, but definitely a great discount instead of paying the $20 each. So most of these patterns I have bought for a dollar. Uh, they have those sales five for a dollar, which I'm pretty sure they've gone up now from Joann's. Uh, Hobby Lobby does the same thing, or it's a dollar ninety nine, two ninety nine. So these are when I go and buy these patterns. So I'll see new patterns come out, and I will put them on like a wish list or make a list of them. And then when there is a sale, I will go and buy them. Usually, even then, I will go in the store and take a look through the books, and then I'll see even more stuff, and I'll end up buying those as well. So I just want to let you know so you don't see all of these and think, oh my God, she spent $300,000 on sewing patterns. No, I probably spent a dollar each for the most part. The only ones I really do splurge on are maybe PDF patterns, which I will also include in this video, which PDF patterns I do have. And those, of course, you can kind of get on sale when the original creator does have a sale. But some of the things I saw and I absolutely needed, so I just went ahead and bought them. But there's not as many PDF patterns as I do the actual tissue paper patterns that you get at the store. All right, so all of my sewing patterns are actually stored in this first closet right here, right behind me. And I will switch the view so that you can see how I have them stored inside. Okay, so I have you guys on my phone right now, and here are my sewing pattern boxes. Now I have five right now, but I think I'm about to move on to six. Anything else in here is just extra fabric. That is uh, cardstock paper. I got some, what is it? Um, the foam that they use for cosplay, I got a little bit of that. So eventually, hopefully I'll get into those. But this is where I basically store them. On top, I have my finished diamond paintings at the moment, but we're gonna pack all this up pretty soon. So that's just where they're gonna stay for now. So let's go ahead and pull one out and we can take a look inside. So these boxes, as you can see, they have handles on the sides for label. But this is the box that I have. And these boxes are perfect. I have been searching for storage boxes for patterns for a couple years until I finally found these. And I found these boxes at Ikea. And I think they were maybe like $3 a box. So I have like six of them. I have two more that are extra, but of course, like I said, one of them will probably be starting patterns soon. But as you can see, if I open this up, it fits your normal sewing patterns, two rows side by side perfectly. They're literally the perfect size for these. So I was really happy to find these. I almost went back and bought 50 more, but I knew that was excessive and I haven't been buying patterns while I've been living here in Germany. I bought a few offline on the online sales, but they do take a long time to get to me and the sales are a little pricier than what you can get, like I said, in store at like Joann's or Hobby Lobby. So I waited and I said, I will just use patterns that I have for now. And then when I get back to the States, which will be very, very soon, 
then I will run my butt over to the first Joann's at the first sign of a sale and I am going to start stocking up on all the patterns that I've missed in the last, what, two, three years now. So this is what they look like. And then I'll just put like a little label. So these are simplicity patterns. I'll just write a little label with uh, index card and put simplicity and then what numbers to what number uh, pattern number they're for. So this is what my storage basically is. All right guys, so one of the things that I use to help organize myself with all the patterns that I do have is I use this app right here called My Sewing Kit. And I love this because I can literally store all my patterns in here with all their information. And it also has a few other really cool features. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up my app here. And what I can do is basically add in my patterns so they are all perfectly listed out here. It will organize them by brand and I can have them organized a few other different ways, but I like the brands better. So what you would do is you can, one, start by scanning the barcode by clicking the scan button and that'll bring up a barcode scanner. Sometimes this will work, sometimes it won't. And when it does, it will input a little bit of information for you. And if it can load up the pattern, it will load up the pictures for it as well. But most of the time you would just go to add and here, if you put in the pattern company and the pattern number, and then you go to click on photos, the photo should usually pop up after a little bit. Sometimes the pictures may not pop up, so then you can go ahead and use your camera and take pictures or go through your library if you have them stored somewhere. Um, but you can also do notes. You can uh, put where you've stored it and whatnot, and then how much yardage you may need for the pattern. So these are some great ways to keep track of everything. I don't get that detailed. I just wanna see the pattern picture. So like I will show you here on this first one, I just put in some basic uh, notes on it, the number, the company, and then the size that I have, and maybe what category it's in. So this one actually loaded in some pictures from a different pattern, and so I ended up taking my own pictures and I also took a picture of the back so I can see the yardage. But you can see on the loaded pictures, it will upload the information on the back if the app can find it. And then it'll also do the front picture as well. And you can see the different options. But you can also store your fabrics in here. You can store your thread and you can also do other, which I think now that I'm really looking at this, I might actually use the other for my diamond paintings now that I have a little bit of a stash going with diamond paintings. So I might add that information in here as well. But it's a great way to see what you have without going through each and every pattern you have if you happen to have quite a bit. So I really love this app and I highly recommend it. But let's go through and I will do a nice little time lapse for you with some music and you can see all of the patterns that I have. So please, if you see anything that you like, leave it in a comment. Let me know that it's something you're interested in seeing me do in the future. That way I have a good idea of what you guys really want to see and I can start making ideas and putting together uh, projects for these patterns because I still want to use them. I bought them because I love them and I was inspired by them. So I would be more than happy to pull something out for you guys by request, uh, so let me know. But here we go, here is all of my sewing patterns.
that was a lot. So <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got inspired. Like I said, leave those comments down below. Let me know what you're liking. Let me know what you would hope to see in the future on my channel. But otherwise, please subscribe and make sure that you hit the bell so that you get notified when I upload more of these sewing videos for you guys. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.